crazy tour stories, man. This one's kind of fucked up. Uh, this went down in Iceland. I was DJing for Hobson on uh, Knock Madness tour. We were doing the international run. And we had two shows that day. And the first show went cool, no problem. And the second show, the promoter had hooked me up with a little weed, but she was like, yo, don't, don't carry the weed on you. Just roll what you're gonna smoke and just take that. You know what I mean? I was like, cool, all right. Must be a little sketch, so I roll a little doobie. Did the show, show was dope. And the backstage was like upstairs and it had a door to a rooftop. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get this little puff in real quick. I went to the rooftop, smoked half a joint, shoved it under the, uh, the little rain gutter thing by the door. And then I had a pack of cigarettes at the time and I smoked half a cigarette, put it out. And I walked back in the green room and as I walk in, this dude's coming up the stairs and he's like, yo, undercover. And it's just a normal dude and he had a badge. And I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? And he's like, what are you smoking up here? I was like, oh, yo, just a cigarette. I pulled out the cigarette, you know? He's like, no, 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 what are you smoking? And I was like, bro, bro, check my pockets, check everything. Like I ain't got shit, you know? Did not believe me. Like he did not like me at all. So he fucking goes, locks down the venue, locks all the doors, everybody in there. Like the fans had left because the show was over and I went to the backstage to smoke. So they, they locked the whole spot down and it, it's fucked up because Hop, he don't smoke at all. He don't drink, he don't do anything like that. He, don't, he you know, shouldn't be having these kind of problems in Iceland with the police, you know? And they shut down the spot and they bring in this little fucking dog, man. They run the dog up and around and all that shit. And uh, we're all sitting there sweating bullets, man. And they take us in the bathroom. They're like fucking searching us, you know, down to the boxers, making me pull everything out. They're going through the trash cans in the bathroom. And I'm like, what are you, are you gonna pin something in the bathroom on me? Like, what the fuck is going on? Man, long story short, that dog came back, didn't find shit. Never found the shit. They were trying to get into the fucking hotel room. The promoters didn't give them the info. Shout out to the promoters for fucking saving my ass on that one. We all got away free, man. I flew home, you know, I, I caught my flight. Those cops though, they really didn't want me to catch that flight. They wanted to keep me in Iceland forever, bro. <laughs> I swear, but uh, we made it. And in my mind, I was playing music that I wanted to hear Mob Deep use. And it wasn't us, you know, sitting down and like, Yo, what kind of beats you looking for? You know, turns spazzing on the mic and then slams the mic. You know, promoter gets in his face, wrecks on him, shove him off a of, uh, like 10 foot speaker into the crowd. She is Nicki Minaj. She is bad as shit in person. And when the bass comes on, she does dance sometimes. So that's intense, because you don't want to stir, but you got to stir, bro. It's Nicki, bro. And I see out of the corner of my eye slain jumps in the middle of the seat from over here, jumps and just slaps the shit out of this dude in the middle of the flight. 